I've been talking about Lucid Motors for some time now, since the ticker was still CCIV and there were rumors that CCIV was going to, which is a SPAC, was going to reverse merge with Lucid Motors, a luxury EV startup. I made quite a killing on this stock uh, two times, well, one specifically where my average price was $18. I only picked up 27 shares here. Um, oh, I don't know what that did, but let's undo that. So average price, $18. I sold it at $56 and I made 1000%. So uh, whereas my cost basis was 500 bucks. So 2x gain right there. Uh, and I also bought it again. Average cost was $22. I sold it at $26 for just a gain of $59. So those were my two plays with Lucid Motors, just for full transparency. I don't own any uh, shares of this stock as of right now, but just thought I'd uh, share that with you. So uh, this stock right now is trading at $34.62. Uh, and if you look at the max chart, it's been on quite a volatile ride. Uh, if you got in pre-SPAC when it was at $10 a share, you would have seen a nice 250% gain on your investment. Uh, I bought in around here at 18, rode it all the way up to $56 uh, before the stock came back down to earth. And a lot of people are still losing a lot of money because a lot of people bought when it was at like 30 to 40 to $50. Um, and so that's just my um, history with Lucid. And again, on my YouTube channel, it's actually one of my more popular videos but basically uh, here, as you can see, I got 8.9K views when the CCIV Lucid merger just had uh, leaked news. And basically there was like pretty much like a 90% confirmation that CCIV would actually merge with Lucid. And since then it's still been on my ticker symbol uh, and I've been looking at potentially getting back into Lucid. I don't feel comfortable investing in Lucid right now with a $56 billion market cap and it still hasn't had any uh, orders go through. Uh, but if it does go back down to in the $20 range, I think that it is potentially a buy. Uh, but there's some very exciting news that's propelling this stock up today, up 28% over the past week, up 44%. Uh, and I mean, this is common even for the other big dog stocks. So for example, if we're looking at Tesla over the past month, it's up by 37%. Over the past five days, it's up by 20%. So there's sort of a renewed hype when it comes to EVs, uh, but Lucid specifically has some pretty good news coming out of it uh, from the CEO, Peter Rollison. And also another stock that I own, Solo uh, right now is up by 14% over some pretty positive news. So overall, the EV market is generally doing well right now uh, relative to other even like tech stocks. Uh, so let's look at the news and then we'll look at my opinion of Lucid Motors. So uh, on Thursday, Lucid CEO Peter Rawlinson said that to his knowledge, Lucid, Lucid and Tesla are the only two EV companies in the world today that design, develop and make their own electric vehicles from battery packs to motors, inverters, software and even the transition. So this is nothing new, but just to be reminded from this, especially from the CEO, he said in one conference, um, tends to move the price of the stock, okay? And here in the YouTube video, this is what the conference was, uh, and he's presenting the battery range, and I'll just let you listen for a little bit. In the US, by the EPA rating standard. And if you look, the top six, there's a common theme there, they're all lucid. This is real. So yeah, we see here the top six in terms of its range, 521 miles being at the bottom right here uh, is better than the Tesla Model S long range, which apparently is right here, 420 miles. Uh, so, so off of that news, which was nothing new, uh, I think it was just a confirmation that the initial pre-orders that are actually going to be uh, brought to people will have this range and it'll be greater than the Tesla. So uh, of course that is pretty exciting. Um, so that news, I guess, reminded everyone of why Lucid was so great and made the stock soar. Uh, he also presented a slideshow showing that Lucid EVs are the top six longest range EPA related EVs in the US uh, and Lucid holds the crown for the range. And a day earlier, Lucid Motors announced the first deliveries to customers of the dream launch edition of its air electric sedan will begin October 30th. So uh, in two days, basically. So that also shot the stock price up and that's why the stock is up by quite a bit. Um, if we're just looking 
a little bit into just some fundamentals. Of course, $55 billion market cap, earnings per share negative 306. I mean, I don't know where they got that, but they're also presenting their quarterly results. The one-year target estimate is $23 for this stock. So, I mean, right now that's like a downside of, uh, of quite a bit for Lucid. Um, so that's just the overall sector of Lucid. Uh, and of course, this stock reverse merged with the SPAC play CCIV of which I got into and out of. Um, and if we're looking at more like what analysts think, they're expecting the average estimate analyst for the current year to be just 76 million in revenue, which is of course not a lot considering that the market cap is 55 billion. So it'd be like, uh, like a hundred something price to sales ratio. However, they're expecting 2,100 or close to 2,200 percent increase in revenue all the way to close to 2 billion in revenue based off of three analysts covering this stock right now. So a huge spike in revenue. And that's why this stock is valued so highly uh, is because especially in the near to term to immediate term future, this company is supposed to gain a massive amount of revenue just looking at the sales growth year to year. Uh, and on top of that, since they're making vehicles that are on the luxury end, they can charge higher prices, which translate to better margins for um, a company like Lucid. And of course, every time the stock pops by like 29% in one day, it's pretty natural for other people to start talking about it. And right now there's like 171 people viewing uh, the comments. And I mean, I just like going through these and sometimes they gave me a kick. Um, proud owner of eight shares. It's not much, but it's a start to, well, at least I got more shares than that at the beginning. But a lot of people make fun of my share position or it's, oh, you only have 27 shares. Well, I'm a grad student, you know, I'm, I'm poor as shit. So I can only afford that. Um, so yeah. Again, um, Bank of America Lucid is a combo of Tesla and Ferrari. So yeah, there's a lot of hype. And again, I would be hesitant to buy on the hype. Maybe wait before the price of Lucid settles down again and then go back in. That's just my experience. I mean, if we look at the chart, I can tell you this thing is probably going to be uh, like through the roof in terms of the upper Bollinger Band. So yeah, if we zoom in, this was the huge pre-SPAC deal. This was even before the SPAC deal was announced. Once it was announced, it was kind of like buy the hype, sell the news type situation. The stock dropped uh, like crazy and then it sort of recovered slightly. And now we see this spike in interest again in uh, in the stock price. So um, generally what I like to do is I like to buy when the stock goes below the lower Bollinger Band. So for example, here, this green candle, I don't know if you can see it, but basically it was all the way below the lower Bollinger Band. So this would have been a perfect time to buy and you could have ridden it uh, from like $17 or $18 all the way to $24, you could have sold there. That would have been a nice profit. Or if you kept holding um, and you could have even bought more shares at like $22. And then you would have experienced a tremendous gain here uh, to $34. And potentially you could sell out if you're trying to uh, sort of be a contrarian and sort of sell when everyone is buying. That's sort of the way I like to invest and I've made quite a bit of money that way. But again, it's just up to you. Uh, so of course, it's not at $56 a share yet where I sold it previously. But I mean, you could see say this here, 34%, let's say you've made like, you've doubled your money and you say, you know what, I'm gonna take my profits. But um, let me know where you think CCIV stock is going. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as well as check out the free Discord here down below um, for some great content and some great content creators that are on this Discord as well. For example, Amaya Helson uh, and uh, yeah, if you want to support me, there are also a couple links down below, also to my socials such as, such as YouTube and TikTok. So love you all. Peace out. Let me know what you think of this move and I'll see you in the next one.